गुड इवनिंग टू एवरी वन आई एम आशीष कुमार एंड आई एम ड्रॉइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट इंटरनल कम्बोशन इंजिन पार्ट्स हियर इज योर लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव इज देयर एट द एंड ऑफ द दिस स्लाइड यू विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द इंजिन इंटरनल कम्बोशन इंजिन एंड डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ आई सी इंजिन एंड वर्किंग ऑफ डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ आई सी इंजिन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस इज माई कॉन्सेप्ट मैप इन विच इन विच in which the engine is there after the classification is there classification is your internal combustion engine and external combustion engine in the internal combustion engine our parts are uh, at a cylinder head valve cams and these are the his parts is given here you will discuss one by one first we go for the definition definition of the engine an engine is a machine is designed to convert energy into the useful mechanical motion this engine is classified in ic engine and ec engine the ec engine means internal combustion engine ec means external combustion engine. as the name suggests this internal combustion engine means this is something uh, have combustion happening inside this is the combustion which is happening where the combustion uh, is happening outside that's why it's the name is uh, given as internal combustion engine and your external combustion engine this is one example of internal combustion engine combustion engine here we can easily see that your combustion this combustion is happening outside of the system that's why it is termed under the external combustion engine now in the internal combustion engine as this is example of your internal combustion in engine here here uh, uh, here your combustion is takes place here you can easily see that the whole combustion is takes place inside your cylinder so that's why it is called as internal combustion engine these are the parts name the cans are these are the this the parts name i have already seen, seen here here is your exhaust valve spark plug everything is here now you do for one by one first one is that your valve what is the function of your valve the function of your valve is regulate and direct the control of the flow of the fluid uh, this arrangement of this valve is maybe in any way this way this way or this way this valve Uh, is of two type this is a exhaust valve the intake valve as the name suggests exhaust valve means something goes outside where we use the valve that is called your exhaust valve but the exhaust gas through this exhaust gas will escape intake valve where the air flow mixture comes inside your cylinder this one is your cam shaft in your cam uh, cam shaft uh, your cam is cam is shifted on the shaft use of your cam is to regulate the function of your valve this is your spark plug a spark for this this is your called your spark plug this uh, function of your spark plug is to to ignite the combustion uh, ignite the gasoline fuel piston this portion is called your piston what is called your piston piston is a movable part okay uh, movable part this piston give uh, transmit the energy through the connecting rod to the uh, rotating uh, crank shaft cylinder head as the name suggests this is a something part which is something covering cylinder cover means the uh, cover the enclosed the cylinder it contains your tooling uh, tooling fins the water jackets and the valves engine blot this is a full system is called your engine blot you know foundation of the engine and the contains piston crank shaft and cylinder and the sometimes the crank shaft everything is included in the engine block connecting rod what is called your connecting rod this is your connecting rod this is connected between the piston and the crank shaft in this between this portion is called your connecting rod at here attach piston to the crank um, crank shaft the, uh, here is a crank shaft and this portion is piston in between them this uh, connecting rod will work what is called your crank shaft See, this is the red portion is called your crank shaft, and here your rotating motion is there. Means rotating, uh, uh, sorry, reciprocating motion is there. Here your rotating motion is there. This reciprocating motion is converted to the rotating motion via this uh, crank shaft. What is called your piston ring? We have the already piston, but we are using some piston ring uh, to. Uh, uh, we are using the this piston is why we are using the uh, piston ring. Uh, you are using the piston for the sealing the combustion chamber so that there is no transfer of gas from the combustion chamber to the tank tank 
and another use is supporting the heat transfer from the piston to the cylinder wire regulating the engine wire consumption. Flywheel. This is uh, what is the function of your flywheel? Th this, uh, this one is your flywheel, means this one is your portion is your flywheel. A flywheel is a rotating machine device that is uh, used to store, uh, store ro uh, rotational energy. It is providing continuous energy when the engine source is discontinuous. Now, I am showing one video. From this video, our whole concept will be clear. You see, in this video, uh, whatever you are talking about the parts of the IC engine, every parts is there and this working function is also shown here. See, in this figure, Th these are the uh, pistons, this, uh, these are the piston, this is your uh, flywheel, uh, this one is your cam mounted on the shaft. These are the valves. Now see one by one then and its function also. See, here your combustion takes place. This is your intake and this was your outlet. And these are the valves. See, closing. These are the valves, opening and closing. These are the valves, and this is your spark plug. From here, your sparking takes place. From this side, your fuel or air fuel mixture is coming. In this space, your combustion. Design. This is your cam. This is rotating. See another portion attached one by one. From here. Cam regulates the this uh, valve. Here also, this cam rotates the valve. Now, see here your crank shaft is there. This crank shaft convert the reciprocating motion into the rotary motion. Now, 